Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Inside the Huddle alongside head coach Mark Nofri. I'm Molly Jacob. The Pioneers made history this weekend playing in the Yale Bowl uh, for the first time ever, even though they fell short 31 to 3. Coach, how would you rate your experience at the Yale Bowl? I think it's a great environment. I think it's a great place to play. It's, uh, you know, a lot of tradition. Um, somebody asked me, you know, what your thoughts on playing in Yale? And I said, anytime you want to be associated with one of the best schools in the country, academically and athletically, uh, who wouldn't want to be? But yeah, it was a great experience playing there. Obviously, our kids played hard. Um, you know, we didn't execute and have the result we wanted, but the kids had, like I said, they competed for four quarters. I was proud of that. Um, but some costly mistakes kind of turned the tide a little bit. And, um, you know, like I said, I just wish we were able to come out of there with a win. You said your kids played hard. Marcus Mason with an interception. Carson Primrose, seven tackles. He earned himself NEC Prime Performer of the Week. And your offense had 344 total yards, but couldn't execute in the red zone. What would you say has tested you the most this season? Uh, I, I would say it, the turnovers at times um, and costly penalties. Like, there's times where we're moving the ball and, you know, when you're getting into that red zone and we had a penalty that backed us up, you know, which you don't want to be, you know, first and forever and second and forever, you know, and uh, it just, it's times that it come, the penalty happens at a time that's crucial and uh, next thing you know, you're driving, you got some momentum, penalty sets you back and then you got a punt. Um, in, in the turnovers, you know, those are two of the things that have been our Achilles heel. Um, I, I talk to the kids about it every week and, you know, it's, it's hard enough to play the other team, the other opponent. And I said, don't play the game within the game, you know, stop beating yourselves with turnovers and costly penalties at different times and on both sides of the ball as well. Um, focus on doing your job and doing it the right way, playing hard for 60 minutes and focus on beating the opponent. Uh, and it goes back to, you know, you look at the St. Francis game, you know, we win that game. There was only three penalties in the game and there were no turnovers. So there's mm -hmm. a correlation. Um, and hopefully the kids understand that and they get it fixed this week. And, you know, we're going down Stonehill on the road. Uh, this will be the third week in a row playing an in-conference game. So we got our work cut out for us and, you know, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, looking ahead, you just mentioned Stonehill back into conference play. They're two and four right now. How do you view this matchup? Well, they came here last year and, uh, you know, they don't quit. You know, uh, you look at the second half, you know, we scored, they scored, you know, we scored, they scored. They kept coming after us. So uh, obviously they had some wins this year. They beat in Georgetown. Um, they're a good football team. They're well coached, you know, and uh, we're going on the road. And again, we got to play our game. We have to cut down on the mistakes that hurt us uh, in terms of getting the win and focus on beating Stonehill. And we got to be prepared mentally, physically, and emotionally. Go down there with a great attitude and understand that, you know, nothing's given to you. Everything we get has got to be earned. Absolutely. All of your championships in the past, you've worked very hard for. So hopefully they can keep that mindset that, you know, you have to continue working hard mm -hmm. to accomplish your goals. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching another episode of Inside the Huddle. Alongside Mark Nofri, I'm Molly Jacob. We'll see you next week.